What a beautiful day here in California. So today I'm going to show you how I use the geofence feature. Let's get started. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how uh, to use the geofence feature. The geofence feature currently is only available on iOS as of the software version that you see below. That may change in the future. I don't think so, though. So, the geofence is basically a border that you can put on your flight pattern to stop it from going oh. areas that you're not allowed to go to or that you don't want it to, to fly out of that airspace or whatever. So to get to it, let me just turn the solo around. Because you, you definitely want to be looking at me, of course, when you're doing this. Um, up on the top right corner, you see a square with another square inside of it with some uh, points on the corners. You click on that, and you can use double fingers to pinch. And by moving one finger outside of the uh, one of those uh, corner points, it'll move the picture. Pressing on a corner point will move the corner point. So it also remembers your last geofence that you had set up, which is kind of handy. Now here's the thing: there's a check mark. If you don't hit the check mark, even though it's on, like if you did this, it looks like it's on, but it's not really. Like I can fly, the fence should end right about there. As you see, I just flew right past it. So this is key. Once it's activated, I'm gonna fly, or try to fly outside of that zone. Oh, now I'm trying to push it and it won't go any further than that. You saw the abrupt ending there. Let me try that again. Depending upon the speed that you hit the geofence, whatever direction you're going on the right a stick, if you keep holding it, it will actually turn it, which you don't necessarily want. This is a, I'm gonna hold it here and you see it, it's, you see it spin like crazy. Fly. Let me back up here. It hits the other geofence. Oh. And you can see on the screen is a visual indicator. There is no feedback that it gives you, no rumble or haptic or whatever they call it, but it does work in all directions. Fly. There, I, it just stopped there. And as you see, I was holding the right stick down and, it, and I kept holding it and it spun it. I'm gonna hold the right stick to the left. Oh, and you see it got fenced. It really works pretty well. And that's how you do the geofence. If you really like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.